Hello, in today's lecture, we will learn different distance measurement techniques to calculate distance between two pixels in the image and also we will see applications of distance measures. Uh, this is uh, based on cognitive level after completion of this course, so that we will learn different distance measures. Uh, cognitive level uh, applicable is uh, knowledge level and for the second objective uh, level is uh, application uh, level. There are different ways uh, through which you can calculate uh, Euclid and dis uh, you can calculate distance between two pixels. The first method is uh, using uh, Euclidean distance. So for this example, what I can do, if I have two points P and Q, uh, P has uh, given by coordinates x, y and Q coordinates s and t, then we all know from our uh, knowledge of mathematics that the distance between two points P and Q is given by the relation that I represent as D of E or D of E between P and Q. So where P is first pixel and Q is another pixel is equal to square root of X minus S square plus Y minus T bracket square. Now when I come to digital domain, then this is not only uh, distance measurement technique, but there are other uh, distance measurement techniques also, which can be used in digital domain. Those distance measures techniques are city block distance and chessboard distance and uh, so on. In the case of Euclidean, Euclidean distance, you can find that set of points Q where uh, dpq is the distance between uh, P and Q, obviously we are talking about the equivalent distance is less than or equal to R uh, with some value of R. So all the points, so all these points are the points contained within a disk of radius R where center is a pixel P. So all those points uh, will lie, be, uh, will be uh, less than this R will lie inside this circle or inside this disk whose radius is R and the center point is P. So that is the property of uh, Euclidean distance. Second uh, method to calculate uh, distance is city block distance. So in this case you find that if I have points P with coordinate x, y and I have point Q with coordinates s, t, so the distance between points P and Q using city block distance which is represented as d of 4 p q is equal to x minus s take its absolute value plus uh, y minus t take its absolute value. So this clear ind indicates that if I want to move from point P to Q then how much distance I have to move along horizontal direction and how much distance I have to move along the y direction because x minus s the absolute value of this is the distance travel along horizontal direction similarly this is the distance travel along vertical direction so the sum of all sum of these distances among x direction and y direction gives you the city block distance that is d4 and here you find that the points Having a city block distance from, from point P less than or equal to some value R will form a diamond. Here you can see that from this pixel P, uh, this is a city block distance 1, 1, 1. If I connect this, it will get a shape diamond. Similarly, for this point, city block distance is 2, 2, 
for this point pixel for this pixel for this pixel for this pixel and for this pixel if i connect this it will give the uh, diamond shape so this is the uh, second technique it is denoted as default because you travel either vertical or horizontally uh, which is equivalent to four neighborhood concept so this is this is denoted by default now we come to the third distance measure techniques which is chessboard distance as you have seen that in the case of city block distance the distance between two points was defined as the sum of the distances that you cover along horizontal direction plus the distance along the uh, vertical direction in case of chessboard distance it is the maximum of the distance that you cover along horizontal direction and vertical direction so this is denoted as d8 d8 uh, equivalent to eight neighborhoods because it is allowed to go diagonally also means it is equivalent to eight neighborhood concept so it is denoted as uh, d8 the d8 pq which is equal to max of x minus s and y minus t where we take the absolute value of both x minus s and y minus t and follow the same argument here we find that the set of points with the chessboard distance of less than or equal to r now forms a square centered at point p so here all the points with the chessboard distance of equal to 1 from point p they have nothing but a neighborhood of Similarly, the set of points with the chessboard distance will will be equal to two. Will be just the points outside the points having the chessboard distance equal to one. So, if you continue like this, you will find that all the points having the chessboard distance of less than or equal to r form a point P. Form a point P will form a square, square with point P at the center of the square. So, these are the distance different distance measures that. can be used in digital uh, domain coming to the applications of uh, distance measures when uh, uh, application is uh, in shape nature and there are different uh, uh, applications in uh, digital domain so before closing this session uh, what we learn from this uh, uh, video is that how to measure distance between two pixels in the image, in the image and uh, there are three methods one is euclidean distance technique another is city block distance measurement technique and uh, chessboard distance measurement the key point that you need to remember is that uh, uh, from the uh, observed pixel p that is centered uh, in um, uh, euclidean distance if you consider all the points that lie inside the uh, which are less than some arbitrary value r So all those pixels if you get a shape that will be the this whereas the shape in city block distance will be diamond and in chessboard distance uh, that will be the it will form a square and uh, you need to remember which are the applications i discussed and task for you is again you need to identify some uh, different domains where uh, or different applications where uh, this uh, concept will be applicable Thank you.